Atlanta United Fan TV, 4-0 win. The attack has woken up and a brace by Gallagher, a, a double of assists by Lennon. I mean, what a night. It was a lot of fun. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting a high scoring battle, uh, but it was just us. We were just scoring. That's perfect. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I think for me, I had it as a nil nil. I didn't really expect there to be really goals tonight because we haven't really looked likely. But uh, in terms of, you know, maybe uh, starting off, I mean, you know, Gallagher with a brace. I mean, that team goal, incredible. But uh, from going pretty much from a non starter to leading the team in goals, I mean, what a journey for Gallagher. Yeah, future U.S. Uh, Open Cup uh, MVP next year. That's, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I mean, so you're maybe not biting on him being a, an absolute starter in the future. I think uh, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's gonna, you know, continue to grow, and you know, maybe there's there's a point where they can, you know, he can be on the field the same time as Joseph uh, next season. But you know, I think that we needed a guy. I think you know with and John coming in, you know, he was a different type of player. And I thought that we missed a Vasquez type, you know, backup just in case to, to match that type of play. And Gallagher matches that. Um, and he's starting to finish his chances and he's getting more confident. You could tell he's very confident. Um, you know, you go back to the, the few, first few games that he came in, his confidence was lacking. And now he's, he's running everywhere and he's, he's making runs. And uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's a force to reckon with at, at, on occasion. Yep. And then let's talk about Brooks Lennon. I mean, uh, finally, in terms of, uh, I think, end product, we're seeing, I think, you know, players get on the end of his crosses, him getting on the score sheet as well. I mean, his left foot, Golasso, was ridiculous. Yeah, my neighbors heard me yelling and asked if everything was okay. Uh, sitting on the patio, I, I got so excited. Uh, that, that was just a great goal. I don't think it, the ball landed yet. Uh, I mean, that was just how great it was. Uh, it, it was good to see uh, some people finishing his crosses as well. Uh, you, you know that you know, if we had some other players on the field, um, he'd have quite a few more assists uh, you know, going into this game. Um, so it was good to see you know, some people actually finishing those crosses. Um, and you know, th that's what we've been hoping for, to see from him. And he's had some good crosses, no finishing, and I think that's been part of you know, some of the, the Brooks hate that we've seen is that he's not Gressel, but... There's nobody finishing. I don't know if we uh, Gressel would have even gotten these assists this year without Joseph on the field. So it was it was good to see, it was good to see some people uh, helping him out there and get him on the stat sheet. Definitely. And then it's also looking at that stat sheet, we get a clean sheet. Uh, I think you know should that do a wonder of confidence for the team, especially you know it immediately gets harder after this, obviously. Right. Robinson uh, looked healthy. Uh, I thought he looked great. Uh, today and you know I, the past couple of games it's looked like he's been carrying something with him not sure what but he's uh he he hasn't looked fit in quite a few games so today I, I thought that he looked great I thought the defense looked great they didn't allow too many scoring chances um you know they picked up a few yellows um you know they were very physical on on the ball which is great and uh, you know they they they're looking like they're starting to be a back line that's played together for a few games and maybe hopefully uh you know getting the teamwork going. Right. I mean, and let's not get a, you know too ahead of ourselves. It is against DC United, who I think mean, you know it's fair to say that they looked abysmal throughout the night. Uh, I think it started off even with just what a mess they made of their team sheet as well. Uh, what did you make of that situation when it happened with Ben Olsen and Canoose not being an eligible player? Should uh, it have been forfeited? Well, I was Googling the rule immediately to try to figure out what, you know, what happens at this time. Uh, I mean, it was probably good for MLS that the game just didn't get forfeited and they, uh, you know, they lose out on some, uh, some advertising time there, but yeah, the refs this year have been terrible. And I know that it's MLS and we we've had some, some bad calls throughout the years. Um, I, I did laugh when I heard glass, uh, constantly asking, who'd you talk to? And it sounded like they were writing down names of who they talked to. Uh, you know, he wanted to know who was making this decision up there. And then Olsen yelling at glass, telling him to let's play the game. Of course you want to play the game. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be the guy uh, that is probably one of the only forfeited games. Uh, at least since I've been watching MLS, I haven't seen that happen. So yeah, uh, this game had everything, uh, absolutely <laughs> everything. And 
you know, going into it, you know, the other thing that we have to talk about is, is Barco. Mm-hmm. He, he's MIA still. Um, and it's, it's getting more and more confusing every day uh, when the team's saying he's not on the injured list, um, but he's not playing. I know we're running out of time for transfers, um, but is he going to be available on Wednesday? I, I don't know. Is he going to be available for the rest of the year? It's This is a mystery, and the teams being very quiet about it is not helping anything right now. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, especially, you know, yes, there might be eyes on a transfer window and making sure that, you know, he stays healthy in case there is a move. There haven't been any rumors. Uh, as, you know, most of uh, you know our viewers know, they can keep track of all the rumors on our channels. And there, there hasn't been any. I mean, you know, Barco hasn't been linked with anything. And so, you know, it is a very bizarre situation, obviously. But, uh, you know, l- let's, get, let's get a percentage. Do you think, like, what percentage is he on the team past next week? 70%. 70%. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I still think he's there. Um, yeah. I think he's there for sure. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going on. It seems like there's a big mystery going on right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, yeah, moving on to Wednesday, it's going to be, I think, like I said, much more difficult, much, much more difficult because Orlando are flying high. They've been undefeated in their past nine. They beat New York Red Bulls, I believe, 3-1 on the same day tonight. And so, uh, yeah, like, how do you think we'll fare? Obviously, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, very tough. Um, you know, we're gonna see what this team's made of. Uh, you know, they've got a little confidence. You know, every time we get this win, we come out with a big stinker afterwards. So, I'm not sure what we see, um, but we need to we need to see that pressure. Um, that press that we saw uh, against Dallas was fantastic, and I think we need to do that exact same thing. Whether we have that energy or not, it's gonna be great. But the rumor is Moreno. We could be seeing that happening on next Saturday, right? I mean, that's mm-hmm. the projected rumor of when he might get his uh, debut. So let's let's get, let's continue with the confidence of you know what's going on on Wednesday, and and hopefully Saturday we we add a little bit of uh, firepower to the team because I, we we definitely need it for these last few games. Indeed, let's keep building and hopefully maybe let's uh you know make a a playoff push. But appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Hey!